Hello, hello, hello. Today is, let me check, it is Saturday, May 17, 2025. And I'm going to discuss with you organ solution to problem 230. Let me say a few words about Faraday's law. Faraday's law is the only law that allows us to convert mechanical energy, that means motion, could be motion in this direction or it could be motion in this direction, but it means motion, to convert that into electricity. The power stations at Niagara Falls the water falls down, that is the energy of the motion, and then it hits huge wheels which start to rotate, and they rotate in the magnetic field. And these wheels are conducting copper coils, and then you get an EMF at the end of the copper coils. That is the basic idea of Almost all power stations, except if they're driven by nuclear energy. I have here a dynamo in my hand. Inside is a permanent magnet, and there is a conducting coil which I can rotate by pushing on this handle. And then, the kinetic energy of the motion that I put in there is converted through Faraday's law into an induced EMF and the light bill goes on. This truly is a miracle. If Faraday's law had not existed, which is a strange statement, of course, we people wouldn't even be here anymore today the way we are. Because Faraday's law runs our entire economy. So this dynamo is converting kinetic energy of motion into an EMF in a conducting coil, and that is responsible for the light. Let's now look at organ solution. So here follows organ solutions of problem 230. He writes, my take on this problem relies entirely on the Lorentz force F is Q, which is a charge, times E plus V cross B. E is the electric field, if present. As there is no external E field, and since V is perpendicular to the B field, this F is simply QVB. E is VB. So we get an E-field that generates an EMF between the center of the rim of the disk that we can obtain by integrating the electric field along the radial path starting from the center to the edge of the disk. And I leave you alone here with his mass. So that EMF is then one half omega b r squared. He mentions here that we have a minus sign, but that is not relevant because I didn't ask for the direction of the, of the E-field, of the potential difference. So he massages any a little bit further, the one half omega b r squared, and out pops this final result, 11.78 millivolts. 
My guess is that about uh, between 15 and maybe 20 people had this correct. And that is less. Maybe some of you had to look up some of my 802 lectures, but that is perfectly okay. So, this was problem 230. Thank you, Organ, for your solution. And within a week or so, I will publish problem 231. It is now Saturday here. Have a nice weekend.